Borg. Borg. Nice. Perfect. So it's not normal fishing. Normal fishing is currently in development. Some minor bugs may be present. Best enjoyed with headphones. Yes. Controller? It's not a normal fishing game, despite what it says. Although it is very low graphic fidelity. Uh, so maybe... Okay. Demo controls controller. Steer, move. Cancel. Confirm. Okay. Confirm and cancel. Normal fishing. Just normal, everyday fishing. Last run in Noita, I got more Sampo than I can carry. The save bugged and also multiple call me. Nice. Very nice. Let's begin our normal fishing experience. Day one. Happiness. Hi. <laughs> Husband. Today we begin our new life in Lake Village. We need money for our big lifestyle. Go catch some fish to trade with Mr. Fishman. He is a good and honest man. He will give us a great price for the fish you catch. Maybe you can even find item of value in the lake. I am excited to hear stories of your adventures. Be safe and bring back money. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Damn. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> uh-huh. It is I. Oh. You're the fish man. Hey, welcome to my fish trading hut. Guess you're the new fisherman, huh? That's your voice right here. Your weird talking your weird talking wife let me know what to expect you. Today is a great day for fishing. Weather's looking good. It is nice outside. <laughs> What's up, Argon? The lake is quiet. Looks like you got all the equipment you need, too. But it could be better. Bring some cash in the morning and I'll upgrade your stuff. If you can earn enough money, that is. Anyways, the job's pretty simple. Catch fish, sell them to me for cash. Just remember, the bigger the fish, the more I'll pay you. Bye. Let's go fishing. Let's fishing. Nice. Row over a fishing spot and interact to start fishing. Fishing spots are indicated by shadows and bubbles. Um... Um, wait. Oh my god, okay. Fishing. No? Let's go fishing. Everyone fishing. Come on, go fishing with me. Super realistic. Touch the fish with your hook to catch it, but watch out for junk. Dodge junk and debris. Crazy action, shoot bait pellets at the fish to draw it closer and catch it. And get money. Oh, that was a bait pellet. Oh, I can shoot? Oh my god, okay. What? <laughs> Hang on. So I wanna... Oh, we don't wanna catch them. <laughs> Let's failing. Whoa, look at the time. Time passes when you attempt to catch a fish. When the timer hits zero, the day will end. Now explore the lake. I immediately didn't read. <laughs> like, I read it, but I didn't comprehend it at all. What it wanted me to do. Let's go. <laughs> so avoid the pellets. <laughs> They're bullets. I mean, we don't want to actually get hit by them. Okay. Whoops. It's not over yet. Pull when the needle is in the active zones to reel the fish in, but I don't have a fish. Ready? We got junk. Okay. So this is going very nicely and smoothly, and nobody's ever been better. <laughs> Let's try this again. Failure fishing. Let's give you an easy one. No, I don't want that. All right. 
Got it. Yeah. It's time for some money. You caught Red Roach. All right, hang on. Audio. Too loud. Okay. Can you crash the ship? The steering is a lot more... I didn't expect it to be, like, rotational. It's cool. I actually already like this more than Dredge. I think I just have a really soft spot for retro style games or that are more complex than you would initially expect. And just normal fishing. Nothing crazy about this at all. Twin head. Okay. What time is it? Ooh, that music is nice. What a funny minigame. <laughs> yeah. Get back here, you fish. Oh, that was treasure. Damn it. Okay, we gotta get some treasure. I can't can't return home to my wife without treasure. This is actually a lot of fun already. And But remember guys, it's just normal fishing. Time out. Oh dude. Uh-oh. Did I f lose all the fish? Ah, so you made it back, huh? Hope the lake didn't cause you no trouble. The last guy up and left for no good reason. Just decided he didn't want to fish no more, I guess. Anyways, did you catch anything special today? This time of year, the lake is very quiet. You might not see many other folks around, but that means more fish for you. Now, let's see what you've caught. I'll give you cash for your loot. We got junk. We actually got some money for it, though. Oh, look at that twin head. Oh, well. 60 bucks. 60 cents. The fish are thriving, friend. I'm sure tomorrow's gonna be a great day, too. My eyes don't look creepy at all. Neither do my teeth. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. I'm not a deep folk. <clears throat> Do I have to call? Oh, Mr. Fishman, Otis. Hello there. Um, how did you get my number? Did Mr. Fishman give it to you? Well, anyway, my name is Otis. I'm another fisherman who visits the lake. I was busy today, so you wouldn't have seen me. But I think I'll be out on the water tomorrow. Maybe we'll see each other? Maybe. Mrs. Duckman. Duckman. Welcome to the village, stranger. Do you know the lake's imp imp import importance? <laughs> the lake is where our nature trails lead to and from. It's a place of beauty, peace, romance. But that's not all. Some say that the lake is filled with magic. Magical fish? Or maybe magical water? But also, treasure. Maybe you'll find some on your adventures? Thanks, Mrs. Duckman. Fishing Kid. Hey, this is the famous Fishing Kid. How are you finding the job so far? I don't mind fishing, but the water kind of scares me. I don't know why. Anyway, I hope you have fun fishing tomorrow. Go catch a big one for us, yeah? I believe in you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Collection. HP strength. Nice. What is that? A chain gun? Okay. Fish and day. Hello, wife. Hello, my husband. 
Did you bring some big money? <laughs> or home big money? Thank you for trying to catch some fish. I have found a secret fact for you. Fish is important here in Lake Village. We must respect the customs of the people. And we must also respect the lake. I'm sure bigger adventures await you tomorrow. Fish. Keep fishing. Never stop fishing. Hello, wife. Good morning. Husband! <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well? Last night there was a beautiful meteor shower, but you missed it because you were sleeping. Next time, try awake. Anyway, today is the fish market event in the village. Mr. Fishman wants you to collect fish for the evening. The villagers believe in an ancient godfish. Legends say it is pleased by radical fishing skills. This is your chance to prove your value and maybe bring back more money. Have a good day, husband. Get that Skrilla. Or else you will be murdered. Hey, stranger, how'd you sleep? Don't answer. I'm not inter interested. What I am interested in is, you guessed it, fish. If you want to catch bigger fish, I can help. And what I mean by that is... I can sell you some tasty upgrades. Just uh, choose carefully. I ain't giving out discounts, you hear? All right, we got rowing and moving speed. We got reeling and pulling strength. We got life and fishing line strength. Uh, how much do I have? 60. Well, it looks like we can just get this one. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess let's get it, because why not? No point not getting it. Be careful today. Children were making a mess of the lake last night, so we had to murder them. <laughs> I wish someone would do something about them. The lake is a nicer place when it's clean. That's why I'll pay you for any junk you collect. But I pay more for fish. Oh, before I forget. Another fisherman is out on the lake today. His name is Otis. Say hi if you see him. Bye. All right, fish, fish man. Let's fishing. So this game is like the bulletin booty body bulletin buddy shows news about the lake and rumors of special unique fish to catch. Check it every day to see what tasks are available. Okay, I shall. We need cute little fish boy. I saw a unique looking little fish at the south side of the lake. It was so cute. Was it a dream? I must know. A lost oar. Otis here, I lost my oar near the old cave entrance and now I'm stranded. Can someone fish it out and bring it back to me? Oh boy, okay. South side of the lake first. There's a cave entrance to someplace. First we gotta do this. Let's fail the quests. Because we gotta go fishing. So there's a, this, I'm assuming this is gonna be like Dredge where it's actually a horror game, sorta. But also, there's a game by uh, a developer named Bryce Butcher who makes some very interesting games, including uh, one of my favorite secrets in a game is in Fatim Betula. He made that game and uh, hang on, let me pause real quick. Is the time ticking? I hope not. He made a game called Mystery Under Lake Ophelia, which is a fishing game that kind of looks like He's really inspired by N64 or, uh, I have this game, but I, I feel like looking it up here, whatever. Really inspired by N64 and PS1 or PS2 graphics or whatever. But this game is like a very creepy fishing game that has some, some unique, unique things in it. Anyway. So. As soon as Dad Wrestler told me about this game, I was like, yo, okay, that sounds cool. What's up, Big Banana Blunt? How you doing? I have my breakfast with me again. Or whatever. I, I don't eat breakfast until the afternoon, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have a map. Let's go down on that thing. Wait, what the hell? Mm. What the hell, man? Hi, 
How you doing? Why is my controller not? Oh, now it works. Okay. Wait, how do I do this again? Yeah. Ignore the fish for now because we need to get this. Oh my God, look at this boss fight fish. This is the Mike Tyson of this punch out. Is that a treasure map? That's not. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I almost got the boot. We got you, though. I got you. You're my fish. I'm going to sacrifice you to the fish god. The god fish, I mean. Um, okay, sweet. I like the minigame. You know, like, fishing minigames are one of my favorite things. Oliver. Is that a boy? Because they were talking about, like, boys th throwing trash in the lake, and somebody should do something about them, kids. All right, let's hurry up and get up to the cave. Ooh, but I got to do this. We have time. Oh, we got one shooting at us again. Fish pellets. Yeah. Happy Saturday, everyone. Oh, boy. I wonder if you lose if you miss any of these. I mean, it's not difficult yet, but... I don't know if you instantly lose if you miss one. Punky Perch. Nice. Now we gotta get Oliver's... Or not Oliver. Uh, Otis's? Nope. Or... Wait, where am I? Oh, we gotta go this way. There it is. Okay. Let's get the ore. Oh my god, look at that thing. Why is... Oh, dude. Let me shoot you. You're an inanimate object. Or are you a magic ore? You probably are. The lake is magic. Thank you. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> or. Don't forget to take the or back to Otis before the day is over. Oh my God, where is Otis? Is he in the cave? Is he in the cave? Where is Otis? The day is almost over. I think I'm going to fail this. He said he dropped the ore near the cave and he was stranded. There he is. Hey. Hello. Yesterday, the fish were kind of easygoing, but now they're getting cautious. This doesn't look like Otis, though. It's probably because of the junk in the lake. Maybe we should shoot bait pellets at them. Anyway, let me know if you want to practice fishing. Uh, dude. Can't go in the cave yet. Does time pass, though, if I... Oh, what is that? That's just a tree. Let's not try to catch anything else. I don't know if time passes if I just sail around or row around. <clears throat> Lost ore. Otis here. I lost my ore near the old cave entrance and now I'm stranded. Can someone fish it out and bring it back to me? Where are you? I can't get out of my boat here. He's probably up there. What the heck is that? 
Let's find Otis first. Uh, turn. Wait, can I use analog stick? Sort of? I don't know how to... Okay, never mind. D-pad. Hello, it is Otis right here. Hey. Hey, fellow fisherman. It's nice to see another person out on the lake. This is a good spot to relax and escape the world. But new friends are always welcome, too. There's just one small problem. I lost my oar at the north. I have it in my hands right now in front of your face. Those kids threw a rock at me? Wow. Somehow it sank to the bottom. I didn't think that's how oars are supposed to be. Have. But here I am with only one oar. If you happen to obtain it, please let me know. Lovely. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. I have it. My oar. You actually found it. I can't believe it. Now I can do cool things like row. <laughs> Plus I can chase those youths and strike them down. Wow. Later. For now, I've got fish to catch. Anyway. I've got coffee to drink. It's overkill, I know. Alright, what's this radio? You traded the ore for a gem. Gems have a high value. Yo, yeah. Yeah. What's the radio going to be? Like an SOS? Yo. Welcome back to the Lakeside Radio. There was a bit of trouble at the lake last night. A group of youths made one hell of a mess. We haven't identified who they are, but we think they came from another village. Hopefully that's the last we've seen of them. Anyway, it's village market day. Hundreds of people are coming to visit. It's nice to see the village so lively. I'm stuck here on the radio. Ah oh, well, I guess there's always next year. Let's get another fish. We need one that looks special. That one looks okay. But I don't want that one. It's not the one. All right, fine. We'll get this. It's a mermaid. <clears throat> Come here, fish. You're a tw twinky fish. All right. Come on, cable. Let's hook this thing. Got those big hunkers. There we go. Fish get. <laughs> oh, it's another twin head. That's fine. Two headed fish. Okay. Well, we've accomplished all of the missions. Hello, fish man. What's up, Lim? Welcome back. I hope you didn't stumble into any trouble today. Let's see what you managed to catch. You got a lake fish for 10 bucks. You got Oliver for 35. Punky perch. Okay. 200. Oh my God. Give me all your loot. How you doing, Lim? All right. Almost 300 bucks. Should round that up for me, buddy. Thanks to everyone's efforts. We're doing good. We got plenty of fish for the festival. I should deliver these before the evening event. The village will be thankful for your efforts. This is normal fishing. It's totally a normal fishing game. It's actually like a horror game, I'm pretty sure. But it, right now, it's just it's just normal fishing. <laughs> and, you know, of course, not of course, not obviously, but um, actually, Fishing minigames are, like, one of my favorite things. I'd rather be playing this. If this was just the entire game right here, I love this. But, uh... Are we calling anyone? Not nah, well, yeah. Mr. Fishman, what's up? Hello? Oh, it's you. Are you getting the hang of things yet? The market event went well, at least. Did you meet Otis on the lake? He provided a lot of fish today. Which is impressive, 
seeing as he lost his ore. He's skilled, but he's also a big doofus. See, see what you can catch tomorrow, eh? Yeah, it's fun. Hi there. Today didn't go as expected. There were a few issues, but fishing was a success. I think my favorite fish is the Punky Perch. They're so cool and stylish, I guess. But they're not the strangest thing I've seen out there. See you tomorrow, maybe. Mrs. Duckman. Mrs. Duckman? Good evening! I didn't just have no eyes in my head. Are you after some more lake rumors? I heard this place was once underwater. And we're all actually fish people. Maybe that's why the lake is full of treasures. This place is actually called Innsmouth. Apparently, a diver even found a sunken ship down there. I wonder what other secrets lie below. <laughs> Maybe, um, Dagon. Hey, it's the Legendary Fishing Kid here. I've got some new fishing tips for you. Each type of fish has different strengths. Some take longer to reel in, and others can damage your line more. The stronger the fish, the more valuable they are. But to me, all fish have value. I just love fish, but I hate the water. Hmm. Okay. Fishies. There's not too many, actually. Not, well, this is just a demo, so okay. End the day. Hi, wife. Good evening, husband. I could see the lake from the bedroom window today. I watched you fishing. Those young boys are causing problems. They do not respect the lake. I am concerned. I am concerned that the lake will become angry. What if the godfish is real? What if the scratching in my skull doesn't stop? We should relax for tonight. My head hurts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> At night. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> what is that toxic? Oh no. Uh oh. The godfish is going to be pissed. I expected you to have already played this, Argon. Yeah. Dad played it, and he said this was his favorite one so far. Husband, you must wake up. I woke up early and went for a walk. I visited the lake to dip my feet in the water. Not the game for you. A giant monster tried to steal my toes. I escaped before it could eat me. Now I am very scared of the lake. I am also very stressed. The only solution is more money for our lifestyle. <laughs> you must go and catch more fish. But be careful in case a monster eats you. Also, do not drown. It is bad for your health. I am sure you will be fine. Just don't drown. Remember, you can't breathe underwater. Even if the lake wants you to. Hi. Oh, it's you. We need to talk. Have you heard the news? Last night, some toxic waste fell from a truck. Nothing specific, just generic toxic waste. <laughs> but it spilled into part of the lake. A special team cleaned up the mess, but looks like it affected some of the fish. They've grown even bigger. I mean, technically, this is great news. But be careful. Something smashed the barrier to the east. I've got no idea what could have done that. But hey, at least there's a new area to explore. Anyway, you want some upgrades? Yes. We want this. We want this. And that's all we're going to get. Okay, three levels of each, and then whatever the last unlockable is over there. Looks like you're all set. Just be careful, okay? There's already one wrecked boat out there. Don't want yours to be next. Let's go. Let's fishing. Yeah, I didn't really like Dredge much, because I was upset that it wasn't really an open world game. It was like kind of just... <laughs> like it was okay but uh, I was expecting to be able to explore around and not have to it was really pretty on rails 
This is too, I suppose, but it's, I don't know. I, I like this a lot. I guess I just really like retro games. Here, let me try this first. What, I didn't check the board. Well, by the dock, all the way back near near the town, there's like the mission board. Whoops. This music, pretty awesome. Oh crap. I was getting ready to spam dance emotes. Yo, fish get. That took half of our line strength. Robocarp. Nice. Whoops. Man, game, why do you gotta do that? Why do you gotta be full screen? Why does every game gotta be full screen? We don't wanna play full screen games. I was gonna do that. <laughs> Robocarp. All right. Do, 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 Oh, okay. No other settings. Whatever. Let me go all the way back, because time doesn't pass unless I'm catching stuff. Just like Dredge. I installed a ship mod for Valheim, and surprisingly, it had a whole ship making system, and it included fishing, too. Can't fight for more than five minutes before losing patience. Nice. That's cool, though. That sounds good. Or can't fish for more than five minutes before losing patience. How do I answer my phone? I'm trying. I guess. Uh. Oh. Sure. The line is dead. Wait a minute. This passage seems longer than it did. Maybe not. All right, there's something special there. Let me just go back and check the board first before we do anything else, though. Yeah, I, I love fishing minigames. I've said that a million times. Uh... I also love kind of minimal horror stuff. Uh-huh. Absolutely massive. There's a salmon the size of a small child swimming around the lakeside. Look out. Like, look out. Lakeside lookout. Like, he owns the place. Someone teach him a lesson. Okay, where's the... Old Swamp open. The entrance to the Old Swamp area has opened up at the southeast end of the lake. Maybe there will be new fish to catch? Okay. Okay, so map. Oh, just down there. Is that the lookout? Well, that's... We've already been to the swamp, I think. That's where we were. Okay. So wait a minute, is this... Where am I? No. The rotation, like it's cool. I did not expect the uh, the controls to be complex like that. <laughs> What's up, dude guy? How you doing? What's up? We're doing some normal fishing by shooting fish with pellets and avoiding their pellets and not getting eaten by monsters. And rocking out to pretty good, pretty amazing chip tune. Yo. Fish get. We got the Super Salmon. Yeah, the, the boating argon or the sailing in Valheim was one of my favorite things. I loved the first time I got attacked by a sea monster and sunk. I was like, yo or whatever, Sea Serpent. And then, uh... Let's try to catch this eel thing. And then taking revenge, learning how to, uh... 
avoid the sea mon or the sea serpents and then it and then thrive against them and actually catch one with friends. We like caught when we harpooned it and I don't know, I love that so much. That's like one of my favorite things about that game. The sailing is just such a, oh God. Wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting the sailing mechanic to be so good in that game. I do want to play it again. It's, I've been, it's still installed, I think. Just kind of have been waiting for, ooh, what's this place? Can't go there yet. Looks like some kind of factory though. Let's get another eel. Can't wait to see what's going to happen now. Tonight. There might be treasure too. Oh, whoops, I took... Oh, well. There, every now... I saw one so far. Chest that appears along the bottom there. All right. Yeah. This is... This is how I've experienced fishing. With lots of chiptune music, and... Uh, it's action-packed, and it takes... You shoot things at the fish to get them. And just shoot them. <laughs> Hang on. Let's look around. When we first went out this morning onto the lake, we, uh, what is this? Oh my god, it's a sea, a starfish. Yo. Yo! Rock and stone. Juicy! Thanks, Juicy. Welcome back, man. I hope you're doing good. Appreciate you. Tonight, in the uh, Discord, we're going to be watching some more uh, 86. We started watching that. It's like a really good mecha anime. Uh-oh. With like a really, really good storyline. Come on, catch it, dude. Oh my god. I missed the starfish. And now I'm out of time. Uh-oh. Hi. Watch out. It's a crab. Look at the size of that thing. Your fishing rod ain't gonna get it. Cut it. Here, use this instead. Is it a shotgun? Boss battle. To dodge attacks. Okay. To fire your gun. To reload. Good luck. This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh no, you regrew a limb. Ouch. Where's your health bar? Dude, this shotgun needs to do a little bit more damage. Break those. Shoot those claws. Man, we're stocking up the local seafood restaurant at this. Reload faster. Come on. He's almost dead. Shoot. No. All right. Now we got you. We got you, crab man. Just normal fishing. Hey, fish man. Whoa. What the damn hell just happened? I guess you just defeated King Crab. That's what I named him, because he was huge. I bet the toxic spill had something to do with it. Looks like we're safe for now, though. I'll be honest. I didn't expect you to win that one. How about you keep that gun, just in case? You've earned it, after all. Let's hope you never need it again, hmm? Anyway, 
Let's see what you caught. Well, not a starfish. I tried explaining to your dad what Mecca was. What is this? Oh, another eel. Look at that money. Nice. It's not enough. I just don't get it. The lake's always been such a safe place. Here's hoping this is the end of the madness. The village is much safer now. Tomorrow, the waters will have calmed down. Anyway, I'm sure your weird wife is worried about you. <laughs> you should go and see her. Bye. Man, I almost had that starfish, but I, I missed the one and then that threw my rhythm off completely. Because it rotated slowly that way, the... Whatever. Pips or whatever. Let's see what they have to say. Good evening. Thanks again for protecting the lake. I knew this exact thing would happen. A giant crab rising up to attack people. This is what you get for disrespecting the lake. It needs to be looked after, cared for. I try my best. But sometimes it ain't enough. You help to make things easier, though. Hi, friend. I'm gonna drink coffee now. Mm. I shot him with a bunch of pellets. Good evening. You look like you have a... like a sponge on your head. Or a sea anemone. Or some coral, perhaps. I heard the news. I hope you're okay. I wanted to talk to you about today's events. Has anyone told you the legend of the godfish? The lake is more than just nature. The lake is a holy place. The legend speaks of a fisherman hero. During our darkest hours, they will appear. And they will calm the godfish's rage. I know most people don't believe in such things. But perhaps I do. We already saw her looking a little strange earlier. Yo, it's Fishing Kid here. Have you found any treasures yet? No. They look like treasure chests. <laughs> you might see them while trying to hook a fish. They won't always appear. And it takes some time for them to show up. But if you're lucky, you might find a gem. It's worth the risk, I'd say. But like, respect the fish and all that? Sure. Okay. Let's see what our wife has to say. Hi, wife. Wifey. Husband, oh, you are alive. I saw you from the window again. You defeated the monster that attacked me. Ah, my hero. Do you think it was because of, because of, listen, something isn't right. I'm not feeling like myself at all. The thoughts are floating somewhere far away. And when I try to grasp at them, I... I am glad that you are okay. <laughs> the lake must have been angry. I hope you calmed it with your respect. With your... I am sleepy, husband. I will go to bed now. Please don't murder me. <clears throat> Aw, shit. You're gonna get messed up. Yep, you are. Look at that. The big ol' octopus gonna eat that. Stupid head. Day four. There was like a skull in the window just now. Or something in the window. A ghost. I don't know. Something. I was gonna play this for like 20 minutes, but... We are definitely playing the rest of this demo. The lake. It knows me. Just like it knows you. They're standing on the surface. And I'm standing with them. Oh, husband? Good morning. I'm feeling very tired still. Perhaps I need more sleep. The lake feels angry today, so please be safe. You are a hero now. Take your gun with you for protection. Now I need to rest. Maybe another nap? Yes. Naps. Nap time. All right, fisherman. Man fisherman. Oh, we got a shotgun upgrade now. 
Damn. Good morning, friend. Sorry about the face looking wrecked. Place. I'm feeling exhausted today. Those youths came back last night. Had to chase them off twice. They kept knocking on my windows and doors, too. Plus, they broke into the cave to the north. That place was closed up for a reason. It ain't safe. Maybe I need to hire some security? Well, never mind. I'll be your security. How about some upgrades? Let's see. Okay, what's this? Ammo capacity. Life and fishing line strength. Reeling and pulling strength. So I'm not sure exactly... Oh, wait. Reeling and pulling strength. Life and fishing line strength. Which is for which minigame? I guess that's for after I hook something and I do the rotatey game. Gives me more uh, of a life bar there. And then this is uh, when I'm trying to catch the fish when I'm shooting at it. Yeah. Let's get both of these. Okay. Perfect. The lake is very disturbed today. It might be because of all the junk and litter. I hope we can clean this place up. Anyways, be careful on the water. Something stirs in the deep. Plank is for fighting in real game, I think. Yeah. Oh, whoops. You're forgetting about this thing. Uh. Old Swamp Open, yes. Repulsive Revenge. I released my pet, Fishy Dave, into the cave last year because he was so ugly. Now he's back for revenge. Please save me. Okay. Sealed Cave, unsealed. The old cave to the north of the lake has been reopened. Who knows what might be hidden within? Well, Fishy Dave? Wait, what is his name? Fishy Dave. Okay. Dragons exist. They do, I promise. I saw one at the south side of the swamp. It roared and breathed water. How terrifying. So that's going to be another boss fight, maybe? So let's go into the cave first. Try to get Fishy Dave. Also because I want to go to a new area. So this is totally like a... Mm, is that another starfish? Like a low-res version of Dredge. But I like this more than Dredge already. I don't know. I just... I guess it's just the soft spot I have. Holy crap! You're a crab! We're gonna get you, crab. I'm gonna get you, Stinky Pete. I got your... Oh, wait. I could hook only the treasure? Okay. Oh. Wish I could get the treasure and the crab. Yeah, we got a ring. But I don't think that was uh Fishy Dave anyway. We need this is Fishy Dave. Oh, and there's a tentacle. Maybe we just want to avoid the t Yo, it's Fishy Dave, ugly Fishy Dave. It's like Seaman from the Dreamcast. Except more nightmarish. Maybe not. Nice. I'm gonna get you, Stinky Pete. Uh oh, wait. Good. Woo! Fishy Dave. Nice. <laughs> Look at all these different things. Eels. Fishy Dave. Strength. His name is David. Okay. So, uh, we probably want to avoid the tent. Uh-oh. The tentacles. But 
Oh, there's nothing there anyway. Uh, please don't sink me. Me? I'm loving this game. It's totally my type of thing. I love fishing mini games, and I love, like, you know, spooky, pseudo minimalistic horror. All right, let's get this cave something. Cave eel, maybe. Is this just the same eel? I hope not. And I like that it's kind of like a shooting game in a way. I mean, it's not like super complex or anything, but... I could see boss fights and, and difficult fish getting very complex bullet patterns or something like that later on in the game. For this just being a demo, damn, it's just a regular eel. I guess they're worth pretty, pretty good money. All right, let's go fight a dragon now, maybe. Yeah, I'm a big fan of fishing in games. I like one of my biggest uh, asks or like requests for Noita is a uh, like an open world RPG mod. Wait, we have to go to the south of the swamp, right? Pretty sure. Like I want a mod for Noita that allows me to fish for like random NPCs, random like friendly Hisi NPCs or whatever that spawn around the world. And then, like, a cooking mini game too. Like, I would love that. I would never stop playing one a single run of Noita. I would just stay in the world forever, doing alchemy. And, uh, look, we got more bullets. And, like, catching fish. Fuck off. Whoops, sorry. <clears throat> I mean, screw you. <laughs> I guess we still get paid for junk, but... What's up, Jackets? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Did I... It's gone. I failed that forever. Maybe it just moved? That sucks. What's here? <laughs> the boat is torn in two. Pieces of debris are scattered everywhere. Yeah, this game is really cool. Meh. But I want to get it today. <laughs> I know, it's probably... It'll probably be back tomorrow. We got one more. We could catch one of these big ones. I should probably go back into the cave and catch the big one that I saw in there. Or see if there's anything else unique looking. Okay. Let's go back that way. Yeah. You gotta avoid the junk. There's treasure that can spawn on the bottom, like treasure chests, and that stuff should be worth a lot. I got a ring, so maybe us failing that is not too bad. Got another phone call here. And there's something about very minimal graphics like this, like Faith. Faith was amazing. And I'm still gonna be playing more of Faith soon dead I loved Faith it's like one of the my favorite games I've played recently alright that might be something cool but let's just let's go into the cave we have one more like pip of time or whatever alright Let's try to catch this big boy, or maybe this. Okay, revenge time, please. So I gotta remember, we did upgrade our line, so... Dude. Alright. We should have more time and HP now to get this thing, but it is a little tricky. Yeah, it's kind of... All right, I got it. Oh, that was a lot easier. Damn. 
Starfish. All right. Uh-oh. You're gonna use your phone to play video games on my lunch. Catch you later. Have fun, Schaefer. What you playing? All right, now we gotta avoid tentacles. Oh, God. Actually, we gotta avoid balls of ink or whatever the hell the Kraken has awoken. Okay. Um, yeah, having to reload sucks, but. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I missed. Oh, man. The tentacle wasn't up high enough yet. The pick the uh, chip tune is so good, or the music. I just want to dance. What? The? Okay, I have four HP. That's cool. I leveled up. Okay, so it, yeah, so I one of the. The board, I think, leveled up my... Oh my god, really? Get your balls away from me. Your bubbles. I don't want no octopus bubbles. Ugh. You die. No! Okay. Alright. Reload, please. Hurry up. Yeah. No problem. That's right. <laughs> this game is badass. I'm playing a One Punch Man game. Nice. Interesting. So the tales of little Kraken were true. I'd heard stories, but I never thought it'd be real, you know? Maybe she was sleeping in the cave, and those kids must have woke her up. At least you're alive, eh? Makes me wonder, could the legend of the godfish also be true? Of course it is. The Black Lake calls to us. I mean, let's see what you've caught. Oh, that wasn't that much. 80 bucks, that's it? Fishy Dave saved me. The eel's only 30. Okay. How much is a starfish? 20? What? For that much difficulty? I just spit. Whatever. It is odd, isn't it? Such a small lake is home to these beasts. I wonder what other secrets are waiting for us. Guess we'll find out tomorrow, eh? Bye. I thought it was going to say, I guess we'll find out when the full game comes out. Demo over. <laughs> Mr. Fishman. Hey, Kraken Slayer. Nice work defeating that monster today. Maybe those kids will think twice next time. This is what happens when you disrespect the lake. I'm starting to see why the last guy quit the job. But I hope you're not going to run away just yet. The lake needs a hero like you around. I used to take my grandson fishing every Sunday. Wait, I don't have a grandson. Do I? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Or perhaps I'm remembering something? The water, it's... Okay, she... Is she gonna be creepy again? Hello, young one. I ate a fish from the market today. It tasted strange. I don't remember eating it. I just know there was something off with it. Why can't I remember? Do you know who I am? <laughs> oh, nice. Stop. There's something wrong with the lake. Something wrong with us. Scott, are you there? Helen needs you. It wasn't her. That wasn't your wife. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Yay. Hello, wife. You look a little disheveled. 
Husband? I am glad you are home. Someone was scratching at the walls all day. I could not see them out of the window. It was so scary. But you will protect me. You won't leave, will you? Please stay. The noise ruined my nap, so I am still tired. I will sleep better tonight. Good night. I'm gonna sleep well. No problem. Uh, pirate ship? A Jolly Roger? Day five. Are you there? Is that you, hu husband? I am not home. I saw myself this morning. She is following me. I hope you have a nice time fishing today. The other me is me. I am not. <laughs> nice. <laughs> of course. <laughs> wow. Morning, hero guy. Your weird-ass wife? What the hell? Nope, haven't seen her. I've been feeling a little off myself. You're a little weird yourself, buddy. But then again, haven't we all? Uh, did I ever tell you my name? I think it's Bradley. Cooper. I don't think I trade in fish, do I? Oh, I have some news. All these chads at the- All this chads at the lake. <laughs> Has summoned undead pirates from- Wait. Did it say chads? Or did I just read that wrong? <laughs> hey, also. <laughs> They're causing a ruckus. I like chads better. <laughs> All those chads dan throwing their shit in the lake. Assholes. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> With that in mind, care for some upgrades? God damn it. All right. How about <laughs> a gun? Uh, rowing and moving speed. Eh. Hmm. Reeling and pulling strength. Life and fishing line strength. Um, we could shoot three times before reloading. I'm gonna go for... Life. Okay. I want... I want to live. Otis is out fishing today. I hope he's keeping safe. I don't feel right around to the lake anymore. There's a weight pushing down on us. Be careful out there. Let's fishing. Oh, let's turning around. Let's reading the sign. Dragons exist, yes. Okay, let's get the dragon. Superstar, I heard music and saw lights coming from the middle of the lake somewhere. It looked like some kind of aquatic performance. Nice. Nightmare fuel. The cave holds a horrible, vile creature from hell. I saw it with my own eyes. Stay far away. Okay. Dragon. Let's not get... Okay, superstar. And then nightmare fuel. The cave. Superstar in the middle of the lake. Wait, they probably just all... Yeah. Let's get the superstar first. It's right here. Is it above this? Where am I? Right. Okay. It's probably this. Wait a minute. Was that a tree? That was a tree. I keep thinking I see like, I don't know, effigies or like some kind of person standing on something. All right, superstar. You're a superstar. Ow. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the stars are the hardest thing. Or maybe this one's not too bad. Close one. All right. 
Yes, look at it. It looks like a gnome, sort of, or a wizard. <laughs> Superstar, a famous starfish. Nice, 140 bucks. Good stuff. All right, we will go to the swamp first. I wonder if we're going to see any... Corpses floating in the lake. Normal, just normal fishing. Wait, is that it? I think this has to be it. Yep. Okay, the dragonfish. The last time we failed this, because I, I hooked some trash instead. There we go. All right, how difficult is this going to be now? Oh, God. All right. All right. Glad I upgraded my lines a lot. Jeez. Dragonfish. Let's see you. Check that out. Fishy Dave. Dragonfish. Actual certified dragon. Okay. Now we got to go to the cave, which is back this way. And then we could get, assuming we, well, we have two more things we can catch after that. Oh, another phone call. I wonder whose body that is floating in the lake. I wonder what is happening to the people of this town. So there's a godfish. Do you have any idea how much information the human brain can hold? It's so much more than we ever imagined. When compared to raw brain matter, all equivalent forms of digital storage were vastly outmatched. Yet the way in which the mind stores, manipulates, and adapts data was so unique, so drastically different to common digital storage methods. Our understanding of exactly what data is was limited by the forms in which we stored and translated it. But then we found Black Lake. Interesting. Black Lake. The last boss, Jeff Bezos, confirmed. Hey. It's Otis. The fish seemed disturbed by something today. And the godfish. It's... Does something feel off to you? I don't think we should be here. Something really isn't right about this. I just can't figure it out. Why does my skin hurt so... Okay. It feels like it's slow, sloughing, slowing off. S L O U G H I N G. Is this not slowing? I don't remember. Uh, hello? Oh. Yeah. The crab from hell. Oh, God. Look at that happy, sad, mean face. I gotta jump with it. Or else we're never gonna get this thing. It's too strong. No, don't... Can't catch the... Woo! Come on. Get back here. We got you. All right. Let's go. Give me that booty. Okay. No problem. 
hell crab from hell. My first crab. It's a crab from hell. 80 bucks, that's it. That one was a little tough, sort of, I guess. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's another crab. It's a crab. You just jumped right into that hook. All right. Fish get. Slough? Really? Okay. Yeah. It's an interesting word. Crab. It's a crab. Okay. Mr. Crab. Um, that's probably another crab. What are we missing? Let's see. What, what should we go after? These big biggins. Or the mediumans. And then there's some other kind of eel that I need to find. Um, I did catch a big one in here, I think. We got one more. Let's go for... Do you have anything new to say? Are you okay? How's your skin doing? Something. Sometimes you may find treasure below. It can appear when trying to hook a fish. Treasure is very valuable. That's why it's called treasure. All right, let's just... Probably already caught this, but... It's a sunfish. Get hooked. That's all good. Yeah, I didn't think about slough. It's like slow, slough, sloth, slough, snuffleupagus. Pike. I don't think I did catch one of those before. Nice. Uh oh. It's another boss fight with a pirate ship. A ghost pirate ship. Nice. <laughs> Time to ready my shotgun. Oh god. Okay. So far, so good. Maybe not. Whoops. I have plenty of HP. I upgraded that a lot because I knew like instead of like upgrading my ammo one more shot before I have to reload let's just make sure we got our health maxed out ow <laughs> all right that was actually easier than the kraken or at least it went down faster because I could shoot it constantly you defeated the pirates nice you should be a hero wait a second what am I doing here I can't shake this sense of unease. Can you feel it too? Like we're sinking into the world? Have some money! Yeah, I definitely don't want any spoilers. I never want any spoilers. Like, after the- afterwards. I have theories about it. Yeah, like, I never want any spoilers. Backseating. Usually I don't want any backseating, but, like, sometimes, like, I want to work together on things, you know. But, uh, yeah. I can sense the godfish waking up. He'll be here soon. I don't know what you should expect. But he, he will be the greatest challenge of all. I think I'm supposed to be excited. Can you hear me? The other me cut my life short. Scott. That's... That... Uh... That's not you? Nice. Um, home sweet home. Mr. Fishman, are you okay? I saw myself today. 
But it wasn't me. Is this like the whole game? It wasn't me. It hurt my flesh. Can you feel it? The mouth at the bottom of the lake. It swallows everything up. I'm not Mr. Fishman. It feels like we're playing through the entire story of this game. Who are you? You are not Scott. Find Scott. His wife. She is dead. Your wife also might be dead. Dark down here. Hmm. Mom. Dad. My lungs burn. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so we're missing that. I wonder if we, we probably could have gotten everything. I feel like it's about to end soon. Next day. Or maybe right now. Oh, we didn't even talk to our wife. <gasps> Where's my wife? She left. She called me. Wifey. Okay. Uh, hi. You're here. This godfish waits. Please go and explore the lake. It will show itself. Okay. So, we have 450. I'm going to get that. And... We're going to have to fight the godfish. I don't care about rowing and moving speed, so let's just get this. Okay. Prepare yourself. The godfish is not like any fish you have faced. He is so glorious. The godfish doesn't exist. I don't exist. What happened to me? We need you to open the door. Please remember. It's so cold. The Cult of Dagon from H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dagon is an ancient god too. One of the abyss that transformed the people of a fishing village into fish hybrid. Yeah, I was saying like, this is like Shadow over Innsmouth. Uh, I'm a big Lovecraft. Or a fan of his writing, at least. I've read everything he's ever written. Many times. Um... Him, like, I'm into that type of, like, weird fiction. Like, uh, Algernon Blackwood, The Willows, is one of my favorite short stories. Uh, so... Hang on, let me... But yeah. One of my favorite games is... It was released on Windows and the original Xbox. The sh Shadow over Innsmouth, Dark Corners of the Earth. Such a... Kind of... It was sort of an immersive sim, in a way. Maybe, sort of. It was like a first-person shooter, but more complex with fear mechanics. Okay, there's nothing to do here, so. What's up, Nuggies? First time seeing one of your streams live. Thanks for all the educational videos about Noita. You're welcome. Uh-oh. You're welcome. Hello, friend. I can't feel my... Was that skin? Hi, wifey. Or... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the... I guess that's... Ah, can't go that way. So that phone was talking about data storage. And like Black Lake storing data. Oh, hey. Okay. Hello? Maybe we'll just keep the hook here. Oh. Okay. Guess I know what we're doing. We're just going to keep looking for that. You don't have a timer today? No, because I think this is the end anyway. We've got to just encounter the godfish. I'm looking around for everything. You know, I, I like to go around the outside first. Is there anything on the map? Uh, 
turn. Okay. So there were kids camped out over there. They got eaten by the Kraken. But I do that shadow over Innsmouth, dark corners of the earth. Wait, call of Cth Oh. Well, it, I missed the jump scare <laughs> because I wasn't looking. Hello, Godfish. You're real and here and not a glitch. Welcome to the world of school error. Husband, today error files cannot be found. This is awesome. Okay. So it is kind of like this Pony Island type of unfiction type of game. Things are not exactly what we thought they might be. The bodies. Um, yeah, Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. It has a... You need to go. Leave. Let's get out of here. Nice. Oh, he's dead. It wasn't a hut. It was a van down by the river. I served food and drink by the lake in the summer. Smiles on faces, laughs, memories. I remember how it ended. Closed down for the evening. A knock at the door of the van. An unnatural knock. No rhythm. Excessive force. Not a customer. Something else. I grip the handle and pull. The latch unlocks. A click. A crack of light from outside breaks through. I see myself. A twisted reflection. Eyes sunken and empty. Mouth hanging open. Unclothed. Malnourished. Un imperfect. The pain comes before I understand why or how. My thoughts are lost, pieces of myself torn away, dragged towards the deep, and Br Bradley Holt is gone. Ah. Bradley, the fish man. Hello? Fish that way. Where's my lovely house and wife? Oh, let's follow this, I guess. Oh, Otis. Not you! I used to take my grandson camping in the woods by the lake. Peaceful times, natural beauty, the scent of the earth. The boy calls out to me, footsteps in the dark, the snapping of twigs beneath sodden feet. Familiar shapes born of repulsive aberration. A woman I recognize, a man I recognize more. A flash of pain, the tearing of matter, torchlight crimson in the dark. I see myself with empty eyes, a poor imitation, a violent replacement, and then the dark. Who am I? Not Otis the Angler, not out there. I was Ned West, I was once whole. We're just fishing. Hmm. My home is that way. I have to look around down here, just in case. I think the home is going to be the last place, probably. There might not be anything down here, but there might be. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming I didn't look in here really. Did they both they all just connect? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Close to Otis? I don't think so. Yeah. <clears throat> we 
basically our home. Let's go around back. No problem. Uh, I was going to check anyway. Okay. Wifey. I'm home, honey. Love broken. Where's my shotgun? Husband, I am here. We must connect. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to connect, I think. Go this way. Storage. Uh-oh. Wifey? Husband, husband, bad? The lake wants to meet you. Hello, wifey. You look good today. Beautiful. I love you. Error. The game Normal Fishing has encountered a fatal error and must restart. Please press the Act Confirm button to reset the cartridge. Bjorg. Fun gen. Super duper four in one normal fishing greenhouse extremely extreme everything error data corrupted. I can't select anything else. What the hell is this? Nice. Hell yeah. Just got real. Things just got real weird. If that's how normal fishing was supposed to end, this game is pretty messed up. I've got to tell Frank about this. <laughs> hey man, what's up? Frank, we need to talk. Whoa, calm down a second. What's up? You know that old fun gen cart we found by the lake? I managed to get it working. Oh cool, I thought it was a lost cause for sure. Yeah, but listen, there's something really creepy about it. It glitched out and I saw some pretty messed up stuff. I'm not sure it was supposed to be there. And now it's showing some kind of new menu with a bunch of other games on it. It might be one of those special collections fun gen made. Multi-carts were really popular back in the day. Let me look it up for you, see what I find. What was the game called again? Thanks, man. The game is called Normal Fishing. Just everyday normal fishing. Thanks for playing. A terrifying secret threatens to destroy the town of Grey Lake. Explore all four games on the super du duper foreign war cartridge to peel back the layers of a dark mystery that extends into the real world. Enjoy an expanded adventure in normal fishing. Raise and battle ferocious flora in greenhouse. Overcome life's challenges in extreme everything. Extreme everything. School. Homework. Oh no. Homework. And when it's all over, play the uncursed versions of each game to see their true endings. What comes next? Normal fishing is a labor of love and our small team so working hard to create something really special. Your support means the world to us. So if you enjoyed the demo and can't wait to see more, please give us a wish list. I am wish listing this immediately. Bjorg. Borg. And I'm following you on Twitter too because you guys rock. Okay. Let's go. This was like by far my favorite thing so far in this. That was amazing. <laughs>